I'm really quite obsessed with books about troubled children and abandoned children. And while I love reading memoirs, I actually love reading the memoirs of foster carers or teachers who work with such children rather than those who are told from the perspective of the victims and the children themselves. And I've basically read every UK foster carers book, so I went looking for some American writers and I came across Tori Hayden. And I read one of her books maybe a year ago and then I just kind of forgot to get another one and then I saw just another kid and I read the description and thought that sounds like just what I'm in the mood for. Honestly I didn't know I would love it as much as I did so I will talk you through my thoughts. There will be no spoilers but I can say if you really don't want to know anything about it before reading it then I'll just say it's absolutely worth reading it if you enjoy that kind of book. So Tori Hayden is a teacher in a special unit for children who either have learning difficulties um, or maybe just needing some extra support because they're a couple of years behind, they have developmental dif difficulties and she works in this unit and it's all about the children that she has there and on this particular year she has several children all with different complex needs. But the story doesn't just revolve around them and that's it's so exciting so i'm going to read the description from amazon to give you a better overview of what of what you can expect from this one so it says on amazon tori hayden faces six emotionally troubled kids no other teacher could handle three recent arrivals from battle torn northern ireland badly traumatized by the horrors of war 11 year old Durkey, who only knew of life inside an institution Excitable Mariana, aggressive and sexually precocious at the age of eight, and seven-year-old Leslie, perhaps the most hopeless of all, unresponsive and unable to speak. So the three children from Northern Ireland, it's obviously a sad story because they're taken away from the troubles, um, they have some family tragedies. One of the children is coping with it significantly less than, less than the others, but her behaviour and attitude towards her sister makes me want to punch her. And that's awful because she's a young child going through some difficulties. Her journey in this is quite shocking and quite disturbing. And it's not what I'd expected. But the other two children from Northern Ireland are quite pleasant to read about and actually make me smile quite a lot. Durkey, Durkey doesn't really have a front seat in this novel. He does seemingly bizarre things like touch people's hair and masturbate under the table. And he's a very complex child but reading his story or reading about him and the way he responds to things he seems like a genuinely nice child he just has difficulty following instructions and knowing when to not cross personal boundaries mariana i didn't really i don't mariana because it's not really her story as such we don't really learn too much about her as a person um but you know, she, she plays quite an interesting friendship with Geraldine, and I do like her as a character. She To me, she seems like one of the least troubled of the group, but I feel like there are some underlining things there that nobody's really touched upon yet. That may be in another of Hayden's books. I'll, I'll certainly have to have a look. And then Leslie. Leslie is basically mute, certainly at, ho at, at school, if not at home. She's not really toilet trained, and her parents are going through some problems. And then we actually meet one of her prob her her parents, one of her problems. That's well, we meet Ladbrook, and Ladbrook, her mother, becomes quite a pivotal character in this. I feel weird saying character because it's based on true stories, but it's the easiest way to kind of think of it. She has some serious problems with alcohol, and her her self confidence and belief in herself and her ability to express herself. And she becomes really integral to this story. And I love her. I love that character. And I just, I really fell for this character. I thought she was brilliant. And there were times when I really wanted to shake her. But I just thought this story without her would not be the same. It would not be interesting. Just Another Kid, I feel like, is about Leslie. A lot of the focus at the beginning seemed to... To, seemed to suggest it would all be about Leslie but it's not it absolutely isn't really it's more about Ladbrook and also the three children from Northern Ireland in terms of the emotions it's 
It is very emotional. It's not the most emotional memoir of troubled children I've read. I've read much, much more severe than this, but it is heartwarming and heartbreaking at the same time. If you are looking for a book about set in a school about children with learning difficulties, developmental issues, this is brilliant. Dory Hayden writes fantastically. I don't know how much of this is written by Hayden herself or how much of it is ghost written or a combined effort, I don't know. But whatever the case, it's so easy to read and so addictive and so gripping and you won't want to put it down. It truly is a brilliant read. As I said, I think it's the second of Hayden's books I've read, but certainly it won't be the last. If you are thinking of reading about these children in Just Another Kid, I completely urge you to do so. But I will warn you, you probably will fall in love with Ladbrook.